Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and today we are talking about, drum roll please, some of the best Ubuntu apps for beginners. So if you've just switched over from Windows or Mac OS or maybe you're curious about Linux but don't know where to start, stick around because I've got you covered. All right, so first things first. Um, naturally, every computer needs a solid web browser and Ubuntu's default is Firefox. It's fast, it's open source, and it's super secure. Plus it has built-in privacy tools and a password manager that'll keep all your logins safe. And uh, if you wanna sync your bookmarks and stuff across devices, there's tons of extensions to help you do that. Next up, for all you productivity peeps, LibreOffice is your go-to. It's got uh, Writer for Docs, Calc for Spreadsheets, Impress for Presentations, basically everything Microsoft Office does but free. It even handles .docx, .xlsx, and .pptx files without breaking a sweat. So, if you need that resume or that business proposal, LibreOffice has your back. Okay, graphic designers or photo editors, if you wanna tweak images or do full-blown designs, GIMP is the topic. It's got crazy powerful features, layers, masks, brushes, you name it. Admittedly, the interface can feel a bit overwhelming at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's a total powerhouse. Number four is VLC. I mean, no Linux setup is complete without VLC. It plays almost every video and audio format out there. MP4, MKV, AVI, MP3, you get the idea. So whether you're binge watching shows or listening to music, VLCs, you're all in one. Managing email, Thunderbird's a breeze. It lets you set up multiple email accounts, filter messages, search like crazy, and it's all wrapped in a simple interface. Perfect for keeping your personal work and school emails separate and tidy. If you want to start editing videos, maybe like this one, Shotcut is where it's at. It's open source, it's free, and it's surprisingly friendly for beginners. You can cut clips, add filters, export in tons of formats, all without worrying about a license. Missing a Windows-only app? Wine lets you run those programs right on Ubuntu. It's a compatibility layer, so you can install stuff like old games or specialized software that doesn't have a Linux version. Just remember, not every program is perfect, but it's getting better all the time. Want to tweak your desktop? GNOME tweaks is must-have. Change themes, adjust fonts, toggle desktop icons, install extensions, make Ubuntu look and feel exactly how you like. For more precise control over installs and updates, Synaptic is your graphical front end to APT. You get detailed views of packages, versions, dependencies, great for power users who don't mind a bit more complexity. And last but not least, Stacer. Think of it like a one-stop control panel for your system. Manage startup apps, clear error cache, monitor CPU RAM, and even kill processes. All with a slick, user-friendly interface. So there you have it, 10 awesome Ubuntu apps that'll take you from zero to Linux hero in no time. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any future tutorials. And hey, let me know in the comments which app you're most excited to try, or if I missed your favorite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.